Good day. At the weekend, I updated my um, computer um, and I think I now have Gleam 1.1. So um, I'm going to uh, have a little look at that, um, see if I can update my app, because I think there's something I can use now. So let's have a look at the news article. Gleam News, Gleam 1.1. So I believe if I look for uh, internal, yeah. So there's now an attribute of internal that I can give to functions and things, which means I don't need to move um, functions and types into another module and into an in internal module just to hide it from um, JavaScript and so on uh, when I want to be able to also test it using an external test Gleam app as, as it kind of works out. So I'm going to give that a go um, and see if I can move all my code, not that there's much, uh, back into the main um, UI app. Um, because it's just gonna, it's a small app. It doesn't need to be um, multi-module. Um, not that I can, not that I think anyway. So um, let's go to where I am. Um, and let's just check. I've got the version 1.1. Oh, I should bump up the font size. There we go. Uh, yeah, so Gleam 1.1. So um, let's be, let's get into here. All right, just downloaded the dependencies. All right, one nice thing, and they've improved the um, the language server, so it's not showing the widget all the time spinning, which is great. So this is the UI at the moment, um, and it's missing things like the model. Um, and all the other little functions that go with m making the model at the moment. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Um, not long got up. I've got still got a uh, rough voice. So um, let's see. Uh, let's move. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. What we'll do is we will cat source UI source internal data and append it to source UI source UI. And now, there it is all at the end. So let's um, move this stuff. I want from here, I want all of that. top I think no I'll have it after the unit so we've got the at the top we'll have the main and the init function and then we'll have the model parts And then let's get that cursor out of the way. Um, all right, the decode stuff. Where should we have that? Well, let's get these imports. Uh, I think I can get rid of most of them. 
So we can get rid of that. We want dynamic. Not sure if we want IO still. Definitely want the JSON. Don't think I'm using option yet. I am using result. So let's just finish off with this move. So at the bottom we have decode JSON string field to bool, decode flags, and then the view. Let's move this around a bit. So let's have if I have the model and then the update, which always takes in the model and does the work on the model, let's stick the view at the end. Let's see how that goes. Keep it all different. Separation. Okay. So now I can get rid of this data bit because we have the model here. Some deco flags. That was one of the main things as well. I didn't like how I had my decode flags in a different model. That's a different module. Um, it kind of felt like it should be in the main um, module with the init uh, where it's actually going to be used. So have we got data anywhere else? Yep. Okay. Anywhere where we've got the model. Um, and then in the view. That's it. Okay. So as it stands, this I think may work. Um, the test will break. So let's fix them up. Ah, let's get them working. Let's so so we'll do a gleam test. This should all go. Oh, that should still work because we haven't removed the data module yet. So let's do that. Oh. All oh, right, I shouldn't have got rid of the option stuff then. Okay, we'll get that back in a minute. Um, but let's remove. Um, well, actually, until I've tested that this works, let's not be quite so hasty. Let's do a similar thing, but for tests to get the um, So we've got, what have we got here? We should have, I think, tests, and then I think it should be data test and then I should be able to change that onto test there. Okay. Um so Now I will remove the data one there. Let's get option back here. Um, do 
So import gleam option type option, is that right? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not using IO anymore. Uh well that's not right. I am definitely using JSON. Hmm. I hope I am using JSON. Definitely. Interesting. That might be because I've confused it with all this other stuff over there. Save that and then we'll look at the test stuff. So those three can go. That can go. And then data. Okay, we've got lots of data dot. Uh, so get rid of data dot globally. Okay, import um, UI, I guess. Why is that not working then? Public function decode flags. Do I have to import it on a per Ooh, interesting. Of oh, course. Otherwise I'd have to yeah, prefix with the UI. Um interesting. What do I want to do? Oh, 
I'll do these bit by bit. So then we have type, model, that should work. Why is that not working? Uh, that's maybe a tightening up or something then. Interesting. So what am I supposed to do instead? Okay, so maybe, what did that work last time? Okay, let's try something here. going to switch to importing the whole thing. Weird. That's interesting. How do I get away with that by pulling in the model, uh, module and model, but not if I just bring it in as a type. Hmm. Doesn't seem right. Okay, maybe, um, maybe I should try something there. Maybe Switch it back. Uh, we'll substitute UI back to nothing. And then we'll import those bits. Uh, so we'll have type model decode flags. And what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Take that. Make a little variable of it. Um, Oh, well, what's the syntax of that? Is it just like new? Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's go have a look. How do I muck about with those things? Um, Do, do, do. 
type imports. Or maybe um, maybe oh what's the type out? Yes, that's just changing yeah yeah okay that's fine. I wonder I'm going to go down to custom types in a second, just checking a couple of things. So I can do that. Well, this is basically what I was doing. What's different? Let expected, so that's like let teacher2 equal, and then teacher, and then it's just got the things. But it cannot be used as a value. Yes, it can. Get the cocks off. Um, very strange. What's going on there? I got something wrong on the. Uh, type model. Okay, it's very, very strange. Why did it work? And now it doesn't. And why does it work when it's imported? Type imports. It's nothing different there. Okay, all right. Well, I'll go back to using a um, that. Now we'll see how that goes. How it works. 
Okay, don't know what I'm doing wrong there. That is weird. Um, hmm. Maybe because I've got a mess of stuff going on at the moment. Maybe it's looking at um, the data one as well. Even though that's not being imported at the moment. Hmm. Okay. We will see. Um, once that's gone, maybe I'll have another go. Right. So that is now passing. So we have the UI test there. And it's testing all the bits uh, qualified with UI. So that's back to working. We have a model and we can decode flags. Uh, so. Now, if I build this, I'm going to have uh, the problem that I was trying to avoid with the modules. So if I look at source JS uh, UI, uh, so this is what's built. We have all these exported things here. I don't want all I want is main I just want to be able to call main but I don't want these exposed into the JavaScript so let's fix that up yeah, I'm in the UI now let's see if this works uh, I should in theory be able to do internal here And here, oh, it's not liking that syntax. Maybe I can't do it on types. Uh oh. I might have to abandon this. All right, decode flags. And then the decode JSON string field, nothing else. So does this pass? It does. It's kind of broken the uh, syntax highlighting for the model and stuff though. Hmm. Let's build again. Luster's got a few things there. It doesn't like the data. Sorry, internal data doesn't, it's not great. Okay. If we look at the JSON. Oh. Oh, I wonder if that's coming from the data module. Let's get rid of it. Hold on a minute. I did say internal on that stuff, didn't I? Yeah, internal. Internal, internal, okay. We'll see. Right, source, UI, source, internal, data, big gong, in fact, Get rid of internal completely because I don't have any internal stuff otherwise. Uh, let's try another make. Do it clean again, see what happens. Oh, 
what's in the JavaScript? Oh dear. Okay, so it's not really working. What am I doing wrong? Have we got um, any docs on this yet? Mm, nope. Okay. What am I missing? Internal types and values. Gleam has a concept of internal modules, which are modules that only that are only to be used from within the same package. With this release, the internal attribute can be used to make a type or value internal in a module that is otherwise not internal. This may be helpful for exposing functionality so that it can be directly tested while not making it part of the package's public API. Okay, but maybe I read too much into this. So maybe when they say, I didn't, I obviously didn't, <laughs> I only glanced at it and thought, oh, that's interesting, that's good. It says types and values. I've got functions, but also types that are public by for testing. Um, hmm. Right. Let's go have a look. See if we can find the PR. Maybe um, okay. Add internal annotation. Is there documentation in here?
Uh, not really seen anything. There's no. I wonder. Oh. Um. Let's look at the website. See if it tells me somewhere that it's been added here. Uh, okay. That was nice. <laughs> okay, my my change was the last one there. I'm not sure that means that's not good, because that means there's probably no update for internal. Uh, convert straight by tinkering. This is all too old. Okay. Uh, okay, right, well, that's a bit of a pain. Although, you know what I haven't done? I haven't checked to see whether I need to do an update. The Tom, the Tom's still using an old version. Does that mean it does something weird? Uh, what can I do to update it? Can I just run Gleam update? Uh, what does that do? Nothing to that. Is there a Gleam upgrade? It's a fix. Should we try that? It's made no difference there. I think. Yeah, no. Hmm. A little bit confused there. Maybe that's a bust. Hmm. Let's see. Um... I can't imagine anything's changed after doing those two updates. Although maybe ES Gleam might have changed things up a bit. Uh, what I'm looking at, I want to look at that. Nah, still the same. That's a shame. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, maybe, um, maybe ask how that's supposed to be used on uh, Discord or something and see if I can work out if I've done something wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to add more to it. I wonder. Should we give that a quick go? What if um, I'm supposed to actually put the name in? There's no documentation, unfortunately, so um, not like a find. Let's uh, last ditch attempt. So I think model was in there. What if I do that? Right. So I was expecting a definition after this. So that would suggest that that would be correct then. And I'll just double check on a function as well. So if I do Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Decode Jason's. Yeah. It's not liking that. Okay. Yeah, more info needed there. I might have to backtrack and put it back into the uh, data module again. It might not be quite as I imagined, which is a shame. Okay. All right. We will abandon that for the moment um, and see what's what. Uh, it's time for me to go. Um, so, on that bombshell, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care. Bye.